This is Chicago's very own WGN News at Noon. And later in lunch break, our favorite part here at WGN. He is a rising star on the Food Network celebrity chef, Dave Lieberman. Thanks so He's much. He's going to make us a little something. Thank you. I'm going to be using a bunch of different Spanish olive oils to make some authentic tapas recipes for some great summer entertaining. Love it. Thank you. It is time now for lunch break. He's 28. He's already got his own show on the Food Network, and he's on his way to becoming a household name. Celebrity chef Dave Lieberman is with us this morning. Welcome. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for being Thanks. here. Thanks for having me. Cannot believe it. 28 years old. You started, you were doing a cable TV show, and yeah. someone spotted you. It was one of those instant success stories, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I got it? lucky. I, got, I have Good to say, I get to do what I love, and it's a lot of fun, and I get to come to Chicago. I mean, yeah, how great is what that? a great city. I yeah, love isn't it I love awesome? City. Yeah, Good. especially when it's beautiful weather like this. Oh, we love it too. So today we are making some tapas. Yes. Um, good for the summer. Yeah, perfect yeah. Uh, summer entertaining. Uh, tapas are simple. They're, they use very few ingredients, but the key is that they're fresh. Okay. But as they're base, they actually use an ingredient that I want to talk about. It's a great summer ingredient as well, and that's Spanish olive oil. You know, Spanish olive oil is actually, um, it's the largest producer of olive oil, Spain is. Okay. Uh, over half of the world's production comes from Spain, and they're also, they produce great great value brands like Goya and okay. Star and Pompeian um, and these are the base for authentic tapas recipes I've that are great. I've got some in my cupboard. At you home. do? Good. I do. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And so you can make things like my, um, my, my, uh, the here's just spatula shrimp okay. and I have some, uh, some fried cauliflower and I've got a potato cake over there but okay. I, what I wanted to do with you okay. is this chorizo recipe which is a really simple cocktail bite okay. that anybody can do. You just kind of uh, grill up these chorizos, slice them up, brown them on both sides and then you want to start putting them together Sure. because I want to show you how easy they are. Okay. Um, so basically all you have to do is put a Put a piece of cheese on Just there. Just with my hands. Yep. Okay. Yep. What kind of cheese is this? This that is, is um, okay? manchego actually. Okay. Should I put it on top? Uh, um, on top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then and then a, a piece of piquillo pepper. Okay. All right. And then all you have to do is skewer it with. Uh, toothpick okay and you just go through all of them like that and you put them on a plate or even a board just like this oh I forgot the there I you go the oh, we can't forget that because that looks really really good there you go Sorry, and I'm then you can one. it's all right <laughs> and you put them on a, just a board like that you okay. line them up and they're great with you know a sparkling wine a great uh, Spanish uh, Ooh, cava for oh, example and or, we have. or my sangria oh, which yum. is a really fun entertaining oh, that looks great yeah, d White uh, sangria. I love great it. summer entertaining okay. recipe as well it's uh, fresh fruit citrus brandy Spanish white wine oh, good. Um, um, so it's 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 all the whole picture there. Okay, so this do you eat it cold? Just one bite. Warm? Yeah, well you serve it as soon as the as soon as you brown the trees on both sides, okay. you um you skewer it and you're ready to go. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. But the, the the key is kind of using uh, authentic Spanish ingredients okay. like Spanish olive oil to start everything. Okay. And uh, and and then you kind of put it together and serve it in a way that's fun and bite sized right. and fresh. And you don't have to spice it, obviously. No, I mean, I mean that's, that's what's so easy about it. And that's that's yeah. the, that's the key of picking the right ingredients. Like using chorizo, it's already got okay. some great Spanish pimento on it, so it uh, it already has that natural flavor. So you, you have to add very little. And you've written a book. Yeah, uh, okay. my my okay. Uh, my book Dave's Dinners is is available, okay. and a lot of tapas recipes, actually the sangria okay. recipes in there. Oh, love it. So you're gonna meet some people tonight, then. Uh, yeah, okay. here in Chicago. Good. Yeah. All right, at the drawing room, seven to nine. It's on Rush Street. Uh, there's phone number. I think we can show you, or you can just check out our lunch break website. And you're signing books. You're cooking it all yeah. tonight. Yeah, we're gonna be serving tapas recipes. Okay. Uh, we've got lots of sangria for everybody. Oh, good. And uh, it's gonna be a good night. Perfect summer night, Dave. Thank you, Thank very you much. so Thanks much. For Thanks for having me. You are welcome. We are gonna be back in just a couple minutes.